you another point. Seeing other sins, see your own sins, uh, uh, see, the, see your own sins first, and, and rather than others' shortcomings, and their shortcomings will fade away. Yeah, how about it? See your own sin first. Yeah. See your own shortcomings first. And the shortcomings of others yes. will fade away. How many know when the Bible says work out your own soul salvation? Yes. And we get this all messed up in our marriages because we think, uh, because uh, we, we, we know your husband can go to hell and you can go to heaven or you can go to hell or your husband can go to heaven. But I'll tell you what, my wife ain't making me go to hell. Amen. I made up my mind. That's right. Amen. I ain't going to hell and I'm not going to argue and fight and fuss. You know the Bible says it's, it's better to uh, live on a housetop in the corner of a housetop Amen. than be in a house with a that's quarreling right. woman. That's and, and, and if that's the case, to get my peace, I'm going to go on the roof and I'm going to pray to Jesus and do whatever I need to do. But I'm going to get to heaven. Amen. Yeah. I'm going to make it in. Amen. Because in heaven, guess what? There's no arguing and fussing and fighting. And guess what? There's no Yeah. 
14, 4. Romans 14, 4. Amen. Who art thou that judges another man's servant? Who are you? Gonna judge God's servants. Who are you to put your mouth on a child of God? That's what he's saying. He says, to his own master, he standeth or falleth. He says, yea, ye should, he shall be holding up. For God is able to make him stand. This is a very strong, powerful scripture. In other words, you can't get this man to do anything. Because number one, he don't belong to you. Amen. You think you're dealing with somebody. But when God gets to dealing with you, he's the one that can make that man stand or make that man fall. Your mouth ain't going to make nobody stand. You judging and criticizing ain't going to make him stand or fall. Amen. And the question is, is who are you to judge God's people? That's good. We don't have that uh, responsibility. We don't have that right. Yeah. Because to be honest, yeah, he's your husband in the natural, but you don't own nobody. That's right. Amen. You know, I, I, one of the biggest revelations that I ever had is that I don't own my wife. Amen. My wife. Amen. Yes, in the natural, she's my wife. But guess what? Uh, 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 she belongs to God. Amen. Once we got that, and she got her life right with God, and I got my life right with God, and we were able to come back again, uh, together again, she belongs to God. If she, if she cheat, guess what? She ain't cheating on me. Amen. She ain't cheating on God. Right. That's her soul in balance. If I cheat, guess what? That's my soul in balance. Amen. Oh, he cheated on. If you have the right mindset, no, you cheating on God. You got to deal and you got to reap what you sow. You got to deal with what you deal with, baby. But guess what? I'm going to keep on praying. mature you quick. It'll teach you how to pray. Yes, it, it, either you're going to lose your mind or you're going to go to God. Either you gonna, it's going to drive you crazy or you're going to go down, you're going to get down in Nebo Valley and you're going to call on the name of Jesus like you never called on him before. Seeing others slackness. Another point. God will judge Perfectly. Oh, just give us some time, saints of God. You ain't got to talk about folks. You ain't got to talk about the sister with the short dress. Give us some time, Sister Brenda. Give us some time. You don't have to talk about the Jimmy Law. Just give us some time. You don't have to talk about the adulterer. Just give it some time. Amen. When it's all said and done, let's go to here. First Corinthians 4 and 5. First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. Look what it says. Therefore, judge nothing before the time. See, this is where we get in trouble. 1 Corinthians 4 and 5. It says, therefore, judge nothing before the time. This is where we keep losing it at. Because we want to put our mouths on him. He, he, he ain't done yet. It ain't done. It ain't a done deal yet. Amen? Hallelujah. Some people are married 40 years to an unsaved man. And on that 40th year, guess what? He'll give his life to Jesus. And you have to suffer for, 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 for 40 years. But when God's ready to deal with him. Give it some time. 